Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T. Back at it with another reaction. I said with another reaction, coach. I'm tripping. Today we got a a different style video. You feel me? But for all the ones who don't know, we do reactions. Just started doing a couple of like uh, food reviews and things like that. We're gonna get into doing some unboxings in the near future. So if any of those sound like it might interest you, be sure to check the channel out. Maybe subscribe while you at it if you're new. But either way, like I said, we got a, a different style video today, bro. There's an iOS 14 update, which I'm sure a lot of y'all probably heard about if you have an iPhone. Um, I actually have an iPhone and an Android, two phone shot of you, feel me? But um, I actually have an iPhone 7 Plus and I still got the iOS 14 update. I didn't really, like I wasn't sure if Apple was gonna be sending out the iOS 14 update to the older model iPhones. Like I don't know how far it goes back. Like if they're letting the iPhone 6 or 5S, like letting those models upgrade to the iOS 14, I'm not 100% sure. But I know, like I said, I have an iPhone 7 Plus and the update was there for me. I think the first day it came out, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to upgrade to the iPhone 12 whenever that come out. Um, I think it's supposed to be in like November, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Hopefully I'm right on that. If y'all got any official info, because I know Apple just had their whole uh, like press conference letting people know about when the new stuff was supposed to be coming out. If y'all know when that specific date is, just get down there in the comments and let your boy know. But iOS 14, they're saying is one of the biggest updates that the iPhones got in a while. Um, and in my opinion, I feel like it really is. You feel me? Like it's a whole bunch of different customizations and like just different things you can do with this new update that you couldn't do before. You feel me? Unless you had like a whole handful of third party apps, which still a lot of this stuff you still couldn't do even if you had apps. You feel me? So enough of this talking. I'm going to try to put some timestamps down below in the description of every little section we're going through. Um, but we really just gonna start it off with the basics. Let me slide on over so I can slide this up for y'all. All right, coach. Now, as y'all can see from my home screen, from my home screen already, I've started doing a couple of customizations, but it really looks sloppy. You feel me? Like there's no aesthetic, like anything to it. You feel me? It's just big pictures, just all over the place. So I think I'm not gonna do my entire phone. I think I'm gonna just do my home screen right here. This this our first screen, and we'll compare that to how all these other regular screens look at the uh, the end of it. But either way, starting it off with, of course, you have to have iOS 14. So if you don't, um, and like I said, I have an iPhone 7 Plus. I'm not sure how far back they uh they uh, go for the updates. Like if they go back to iPhone 6 or 5 or anything like that. But like I said, I have an iPhone 7 Plus, and I still got the uh, iOS 14 update. But either way, you'll go to your settings, you go to general, software update, and normally it'll be something that'll pop up right here, which when I went to, to my settings and went to this, it popped right up for me for me to install it and all that. Um, and sometimes it's a thing for, or it's like a, a, a button or a link for you to, to press for it to check and see if there's updates. But as y'all can see, I'm already up to date with the iOS 14. And I think it took like, 30 to 40 minutes for it to, uh, to update, honestly. But either way, once you got that down packed, um, we gonna move on into how to add these, these little pictures or squares or whatever you wanna call them. So let's hop on into that. All right, so what you need for that is a app called Widgetsmith. So of course you would go to the app store, just type in Widgetsmith. And it's the first one up top. As y'all can see, I already have Widget Smith, so we're just gonna go ahead and open that up. Um, and I've done a couple of different, like I've already added some, some pictures in here and things like that. Um, but as you can see, you have a uh, option for a small widget, medium widget, which is the long style, and then you have a large widget. Now I do wish they had some going straight up and down, like vertical, but they don't have any like that at the moment. And these are just widgets widgets that you can just add i don't think they they really have any purpose like you just add it for the, the actual look of it so it's not necessarily doing anything at the moment at least um but we're gonna get into that later about how you can change the pictures for your regular apps like twitter instagram stuff like that um, but for this widget smith of course i've already added mine but i'm gonna go ahead and add some just for y'all to kind of understand and see what they got here so you go to add either small widget they have medium or large which just for example this one right here 
this uh, red one that says five kings. This is the medium uh, size widget. This one right here is the small widget. So it's actually not that small. I thought it would be the size of your like normal app um, on your screen, but it's not. And this one here is the large one. Now the large one, that, that takes up so much space. I don't really see myself using that too, too much. Like I said, I was really just adding them on here just to see how it would uh, look. But either way, let's get, get back to widget smith. Um, we're gonna add a small widget. And of course it pop, pops up small number seven or however many you already have. You just click on it, pops up as a default widget. You also have an option to add a timed widget, which is saying here that at a certain time it'll replace a default widget. I haven't tried that yet. I may try it out and see what it's about or what's like what, what that entails. But um, for right now, we're just gonna go on in here to custom. And as you can see, you have your time. They have different ones, the date, which they have different setups for that as well. They also have the different fonts for everything. You see they got nine different fonts. You have your tint color for the actual text. Then the background color as well. Have the outlines and all that, but we're not gonna do that one right now. We're actually gonna do, um, cause after the date you have your custom here. You have photo, photos in your album, custom text, blank, which I'm not sure what the blank one would be used for. Maybe just, to have it a certain color or something possibly. Calendar for your updates, reminders, your weather. And I think my weather is locked right now because I don't have my weather app downloaded. Um, activity bar, step count. I didn't even know they had those. Tides for a high tide and low tide, I'm guessing. Astronomy, sunrise, sunset, moon phase. But we're gonna go with just the photo for right now. Selected photo, you click on that at the bottom, and of course you go to choose photo. I've already been downloading some like neon uh, photos and stuff like that that I wanted to use already. Mm, let's see. Why not, just do it. All right, so we've got that one added as a small widget. So you can't add it directly to your screen from here. So what you gotta do is go back to your home screen or whichever screen you wanna add your widget to. Hold down on the actual screen. And of course you're gonna see all the, the apps start wiggling just a little bit. Up in the top right, there's a plus. Click on that plus, it'll bring this up for you. Um, then you just scroll down to the Widget Smith app. Of course, they give you an option for small, medium, or large, and you'll be able to choose from all the preset ones that you already have. Um, so we're gonna go to add widget. It just added it by itself. I, I'll take that one out, hold on. See, now I'm still trying to get used to this as well, but either way, back to widget smith. Um, why is it not? Oh, okay, okay. So you add your widget. I forgot, you have to hold down on your widget, and then you go to edit widget and it'll give you the, the option to, you click on that small number one and then you just click on whichever one you wanna change it to. That's not the one I had, that's for sure. Edit widget, small number seven. So why does it work for blessed but not my other one? Hold on real quick, y'all. I have just do it right here for my small widget. Edit widget, small number seven. I'm not sure why that's not working. Honestly, it might be a little glitch in their app, but we'll just change it to this blessed one for now just to save time. But you guys get the actual gist of it um, and how that works. Um, so we're gonna move on into the next, the next option, which will be changing the picture for your actual app. So for like Instagram, YouTube, things like that, um, you can change the uh, the actual picture for it somewhat. There's a, there's like a catch to it, I guess you could say. So basically you need this app here, shortcuts. So you're gonna click on that. I've already created one, which you guys see right here is the Instagram down below. Um, but like I said, there's a little catch to it. When I click on that, it's gonna bring me two shortcuts first and then it automatically opens up Instagram. So you don't have to go through there and then click on something else, but it does open up shortcuts and then opens up the uh, the actual app that you customize basically. So um, I'll still show you guys how we did this. All right, so we have our Instagram one right there. You just press this plus button up at the top. 
new shortcut, add action, you go to scripting, open app, and then you just press on that, choose, and you go to whichever app you want. I think I'll do the YouTube app since I already have a picture for it. So you guys see that's already chosen. So you click on these three blue dots up there and then you go to add to home screen. Once you do that, this pops up um, and you can click on this box that says new shortcut. That'll let you add any text you want. I'll add, of course, YouTube. And then you can click on the image that's next to the uh, text and that'll bring up your choose file, take photo or choose photo. I'm going to choose photo and I already have a neon YouTube sign in here. And sometimes when you add it, the, uh, the actual picture like distorts a little bit, kind of like this here. So um, you're going to have to maybe download a couple of different ones just to see which ones actually you know, fit it how you want it to. Let's see if this one works. It's not working. That, that looks a little, a little weird. Okay, so all of these don't really look too good at the moment. A few moments later. Looks like I'm gonna have to search another YouTube logo. All right, so let's see. I just downloaded about two more. Let's see if any of these work. I'm not sure like I'm not sure what the actual aspect ratio is for you to make sure that it's you know fitting the actual screen how you want it to. Two hours later. Okay, so looks like we're gonna be using this one. This one finally uh fit on there how it's supposed to. So once you do that, of course you just press done and it adds it to your home screen for you. So then you press done as you see you got the new shortcut there, and down below at the bottom here. You have YouTube, but like I said, there's a catch because when you click on it, it's gonna open up shortcuts first, then open up directly to whatever app it may be that you're using. Um, there's also some other features on here as far as you can move apps off of your screen. Um, you can also, when you hold down on the screen, it brings up this, this little bar down here where you can scroll through your, your pages. If you tap on that, it brings all your pages up. You can click on them. Of course, it takes a, hold on one second. And if you uncheck any of these pages, it'll basically um, hide it from you. So as you see, I just took those off and now that whole page is gone, but you can always bring it right back by just tapping on those, the little bottom bar there and tapping right back on those pages and it'll bring it right back up for you. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, but there's also something else you can do with your apps to kind of declutter some of your pages. They have an app library over here now, all the way to the right. So what you can do is from your, your separate apps, let me, let me find a separate app. Okay, so here's what you do. You just gotta hold down on whatever app it may be, edit home screen. Of course, it's gonna bring it up, shape, wiggling again. You press the minus button. You can either delete the app or move the app to your app library which is what we just looked at when you scroll all the way to the right of your screen. So I move that to my app library, go over here, and it should be somewhere in here. I'm not sure exactly where it would be because I think that they just, they put it in here under certain, um, certain titles. Of course, you got social creativity, but of course, if you needed that actual app, you could just type it in and it would pop right up. So. Um, like I said, that one's not popping up at the moment, but you can always just search it. It's not too hard to find. Let's see, I do want to take this entire folder, I believe I can take out. So remove folder. Removing from home screen will keep all apps from folder in your app library. Booksmark will be moved out of the folder. Okay, so it looks like you can't actually move an entire folder. I thought you could possibly, you know, take an entire folder, just move it to your app library and not really have to worry about um, it being lost or anything like that. Um, but let's see what else we can do here. So I have my Instagram here and then all you got to do here is remove app, move to app library. So you don't have duplicate apps. Move another one here. Take YouTube out. Move to app. Did I just move that to app library or did I del delete it all together? Okay. So YouTube is over there. What else do I want to do? I mean, I've, I've basically shown you guys exactly what you need to, to uh, do to basically change everything to how you want it. Really, all you have to do is go through and just customize it exactly how you want it. So 
I'm just trying to figure out what I want to move and what I don't want to move. Got my calendar, my weather. And really I can move all of these things just to another page for the time being. Okay, so what I'm about to do here is set up my Twitter and I think there was one more app as well. See if it lets me put this Twitter one up there. I feel like it's gonna zoom it in, yeah. Somebody, if somebody could get down there in the comments and let me know what the aspect ratio is for these pictures that you would need to, to make sure that it fits on the screen right, or on the actual app screen right, I would definitely appreciate that. But um, we have our Twitter one here. So I'll move that over here. Lightroom. Okay, so right, I mean, this is looking a lot cleaner already. I wanna clean up some of these at the top. Okay, so I finally got this, at least some of these apps here out of the way. Let's see what else I can add in here. Actually, let me go to my widgets, Widget Smith. Okay, I get. I think I'll go ahead and add the day and the date. And I think I might go with the red background color let's do a 90 percent white why not just gonna save that of course we're just gonna do the same the same exact thing we've been doing small widget now we're just gonna hold that edit widget small number eight there we go with our date up top okay now let me just add this other one over here just to oh i didn't know you could do that so if you add one on top on top of another, you can just slide those two up and down at any time to change the picture. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know that. Okay, so we learn something new every day, I guess, you know? All right, let me add one more widget to this page and we'll basically be finished up with this here. I'll add one more small just so I can have those up top. Edit widget, and I wanna do the red one I had. I can't remember which one it was. All right, so that's my setup for this first one. It doesn't really, it still doesn't look too pleasing to me at the moment. Let me slide some of these around. Yeah, this still doesn't look extremely pleasing to me right now, so I definitely wanna keep tweaking with it a little bit. Like, it still looks kinda of bulky and just everything's all together. But it is what it is, right? Like I said, we're gonna figure out what we gotta do here, but I definitely like the fact you can switch these back and forth. Like I said, all you have to do for that is, once you tap on it, just drag it over top of the other one and it'll just add them both in there together. So that's actually pretty cool. I wonder if you can, no, you can't do that for these. What do you guys think about this setup? Kinda like it, but I still kinda don't. I don't know, man. If y'all have any suggestions for me, just get down there in the comments and let me know. Um, I will go into some of the other features from iOS. I know that they have a back tap option, but unfortunately my iPhone 7 Plus doesn't have that capability. Um, but if you, if you wanted to actually do it, you would just go to your settings, click on accessibility. Uh, I believe it's touch. And once you scroll down, there would be a, one of the options on here that would say back tap. And you would click on that and it gives you a whole bunch of different options from screenshots. You can open up apps if you do like three, four, or you can basically set it to anything. I saw somebody who had it set to three taps and it would open up YouTube. So that was actually pretty cool. But like I said, my phone doesn't have that capability at the, at the moment. So um, I can't use that, but maybe some of you guys with the newer iPhones can. Either way. That really about wraps up everything. I showed you guys how to change, how to add widgets from Widgetsmith. Um, like I said, they have a whole bunch of different options, colors, font styles for you. Everything's laid out there in front of you. And it is a little overwhelming once you first start, but when you get the the hang of it, I feel like it's, it's basically smooth sailing, you know? So um, like I said, I don't like how this looks at the moment. Like it's a little cleaner than it was when we first started, but Still not anything to be too, too excited about. So I'm gonna definitely be uh, trying to change up a couple more of these as the uh, the uh, days go on. But yeah, man, that's iOS 14 update. I know this was a long video, probably about 20 to 25 minutes. 
that's tough. I, I was aiming for this to be about a 10 to 15 minute video max, but hey, it is what it is, man. If you're still here watching, I appreciate you tuning in. Um, like I said, that's, that's, that's really all about all I've got to say about it. I know there are some other hidden features and things like that that I didn't get to. And if there's anything I missed that y'all maybe want to see in a, a separate video, just get down there in the comments and let me know. I'll definitely come with that. But hey, man, I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this new iOS 14 update. Are y'all taking advantage of these different apps and the different size of the widgets and stuff like that? Or are y'all just like, no, nah, I want to keep my iPhone how it is. Don't change it. Because I know there's probably half and half or maybe 60, 40. That's like, I want to change it. Some of them are like, nah, I don't want to change it. So you guys get down there in the comments. Let me know if you're enjoying this update or not. And if you guys have suggestions for uh, new videos, new ideas for videos, get down there in the comments and let me know as well. But hey, man, we're on the road to 15K subscribers, a team. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting it lit over here. Catch y'all in the next video. I'm having all the O's looking like in and I. I got a go.